coming up in this read. Their every thought is consumed by thoughts of you. And fantasies also, I'm getting with that Seven of Cups. It's like they're fantasizing about moving in with you already. Libra, let's get into your September love reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it all in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for a Libra, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. So the roles can be interchangeable. And please do keep in mind as well that this is a general reading. So it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You only take what's resonating specifically for you. And you leave what doesn't belong to you for someone else. Okay. And also do respect the tarot. Approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Libra, I'm currently pulling the strongest energy that surrounds you. And this is building the groundwork for the rest of your reading. So your first card out is the ocean. It says, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing room brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. So it's a cleansing energy, okay? Uh, some of you might benefit, if you can't get to the ocean, uh, then you might benefit from <clears throat> salt baths as well for some energetic cleansing make sure that you get it on the top of your head as well just to cleanse away energies that, that you've been absorbing throughout the day from other people um yeah it, it but when you think of this, it's really relaxing, isn't it? So, I mean, it could be time for a break as well for some of you. It could be time to temporarily disconnect from everybody else. Uh, you could be an energetic sponge at this point in time. So you might be feeling uh, hypersensitive as well. So, yeah, really use this as an opportunity to, to cleanse and, you know, take care of your uh, spiritual and energetic hygiene. OK. Oh, I didn't even notice that you had cleansing right next to it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm laughing because I wasn't even looking at that card. Uh, yeah, definitely same message okay it, it's just reinforcing that message about that the spiritual and energetic cleansing and rejuvenation yeah exactly it's literally showing you some somebody being on holiday having a break um i don't think i need to go any further into that particular energy libra because Honestly, I would end up just repeating myself. Uh, it, it's so funny because I honestly wasn't even looking at those two cards. I, I was focused on that one. Uh, but it's same message. It's just the same message carrying through. Right. So with that being said, I'm going to pill your tarot and we will find out what's coming in towards you in love. It's for Libra Collective in love, please. <clears throat> Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. It's coming in towards Libra. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. It's for Libra. Okay. The Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Lovers. The Nine of Cups. The Queen of Coins. It's coming in towards... Oh, <laughs> random. Three of Wands, okay. And the Hierophant in reverse, right. And the Nine of Coins, okay. With the Four of Wands and the Tower, right. So if anybody's interested in the Zodiac information, the dominant signs will be... Uh, Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, 
Aries, Scorpio, Virgo. Okay. Um, Sagittarius and Pisces being the most dominant in, in your energy, Libra. Right. So, um, the, the Tower with the Nine of Coins and the Four of Wands, and you've got Queen of Wands underneath that one. There's There's been a bit of a revelation for somebody. And I'm seeing that um, somebody's developed really, really strong feelings for you, Libra. And with that being the tower, you might not have expected it as well. Or you could be unexpectedly developing strong feelings towards somebody else. I mean, take it as it resonates, because again, with this being a general read, the energy can be interchangeable. OK, so I'll just say somebody and, and you can take it from there. So somebody has unexpectedly developed really, really strong feelings towards someone else. Absolutely. Now, we've got a divorcee here as well. So you could be the divorcee or they could be the divorcee because you've got the nine of coins with the four of wands. And your first card out was the eight of cups. So someone, someone has um, ended a relationship. And they're saying, I'm glad that it ended. I did the right thing. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords. All right. Um, so there's been a really difficult experience here for somebody specific. And they, they had to, like, they, they felt that they had to end that relationship. Like, th there was no two ways about it. Th there was never going to be a compromise or anything like that. And ever since they broke off that particular relationship, their, their life has become more peaceful. I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with, Libra, okay? Um, but they're, they're certainly able now to, um, I want to say trust in their own ability now to make healthy choices in love. So whoever that person is, they've definitely been through a lot and they, they've had to go through a lot of really unpleasant lessons on the way, right? You then have Ten of Cups, Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. So somebody basically took it for granted that they were never going to be in another relationship. Um, they, they certainly weren't interested. And I, I suspect that that's you, Libra. Um, that, that you weren't really interested in another relationship. You know, given given everything that has happened um relationships left a bit of a sour taste in your mouth so to speak so again all of that plays into this unexpected revelation of somebody starting to develop feelings for another person um it it definitely wasn't on I'm going to say your mind, okay, just to keep just to keep it easy to follow the energy that I'm trying to describe, right? It is, you certainly weren't looking for love, anyway, put it that way. But it's indicating that love has definitely found you. Ten of Cups, love is nine of Cups. And it's a beautiful, it, it, it's a beautiful relationship as well. Uh, remember the nine of Cups, wish fulfillment satisfaction uh feeling feeling content as well can you tell us more about this energy please for libra oh wow <laughs> the wheel of fortune right the nine of swords the star the nine of wands and the wheel of fortune yeah mm-hmm Somebody, again, I don't know if it's you or your person, but somebody is concerned about this being a rebound situation. Okay. Someone does have their guard up. 
they're definitely very guarded, uh, a bit of a stress head as well. Worrying in case the other person is still uh, attached to or connected to their ex. Um, and just basically really, really concerned that this is going to be a rebound. I'm not seeing that it is a rebound. I genuinely don't. I feel that this is coming out because that's what someone is concerned about. And obviously they, they don't want to be the rebound for someone else because that's a shitty place to be. And it, it's no, like you can't really build a proper relationship off of that, can you? Um, that That is definitely somebody's concern. Really strong Sagittarius energy in your reads, Libra. If, if you don't have Sagittarius, say, in your Venus or rising, um, then you could be dealing with someone who is Sagittarius, Sun, Venus or rising. Uh, if not, then it's just indicating that your luck... <laughs> your luck is doing a U-turn. So you might have felt over the past couple of years or the past couple of months that you've been really unlucky in love. Well, your luck is turning for the better. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune coming out twice. That's very, very powerful energy. Um, thing, things could move quickly as well. So just remember that if at any point in time, if you do feel that things are moving a bit too quickly, that you're, you can put the brakes on, okay? Um, rather than allowing it to sort of freewheel downhill type thing, uh, you, you can put the brakes on whenever you feel uncomfortable. You make somebody very, very happy, Libra, really happy. It's like... They, when they wake up in the mornings and, and you pop into their head, they do a big smile, you know. It, it's, it's really, really nice energy. And then you've got the Queen of Coins, the Three of Wands, so yeah, things will move quite quickly. And the Hierophant in reverse. Right, so this individual, they could have a different belief system to you. And they're indicating, I will surrender my... Uh, current belief system to be with you so so they could be like someone who's in a very strict a very strict belief system and they're like I will literally give it up for you and and now I'm hearing that song <laughs> I'll give it all up for you wow that's a really old song um so this individual is deadly serious about you then, Libra. Uh, yeah, that that's not the that's not the signs of somebody who's in a rebound situation. You know, not not when they're sitting there going, yeah, you know, what? I've got no problems giving up this, that, and the next if it means that I can be with you. And they're definitely thinking long term as well with the Queen of Coins energy. Yeah, that that's not rebound at all. It really isn't. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Emotions run deep with this person. And tell us more about this, please, for Libra. Oh, what? Well, that was really weird then, because they landed in my lap. And then one of them went on the floor. The Three of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Wow, this individual is absolutely determined to win, <laughs> to win you over, um, to, to prove themselves to you also. I'm feeling, for some of you, this individual, they, they already have, like, they, they already have their own home. So they're, they're very mature. Even if they're like physically quite young, they're really mature for their age um, or they, they could be a wee bit older than, than you. Um, that's Seven of Cups though. Can you tell us about Seven of Cups? Oh, daydreaming. Okay. Yeah. You, you're, their every thought is consumed by thoughts of you. And fantasies also I'm getting with that Seven of Cups. It's like they're fantasizing about moving in with you already. Um, you've, you've done something to this person, Libra, just by being you. 
as I say, it's like, it's not like you went out of your way to try and impress anybody. You were just being you. You were just carrying on with your own life. You weren't even, like, for most of you, you weren't even looking for love. But I'm telling you, love's found you, Libra. It has Aquarius energy with the fool. A brand new beginning. Yeah, this individual, they're wanting to jump in like both feet first, they're, they're pretty certain at this point that they have found their life partner with you. It's someone who's currently flirting with you, Libra, and you might not have realised that they're flirting, but they actually are flirting with you, with that page of wands. Yeah, four of wands under there, exactly. Mm -hmm. Eight of cups as well, yeah. Your first card out was the Eight of Cups. So look, Four of Wands and Eight of Cups again. And you had it there too. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps both of you are divorcees then, if it's coming out twice. Perhaps a lot of your past, uh, you recognise because they have been through, if not the exact same, situations that you've been through than very very similar situations so it you, you know you guys have got so so much in common already you really really do and i i like this energy for you libra it's someone who is very very grounded very level-headed that they're not interested in a in a hit and run situation you know i completely understand your concerns with the whole rebound thing that's not what I'm seeing in this read, though. This is no way in hell a rebound situation. Libra, this is someone who is deadly, deadly serious about you. Wow. Have a healing message, please, for Libra. Two of them, okay. The gate and the serpent. Wow, let's take a look. Okay, right. So for your gate, it says portal. Uh, portals appear at the corners of our eyes, which we can almost visualize if we squint. Some who see these portals know them for what they are. They have the gift of opening the small tear in the fabric of the world's material at will. The woman at the gate steps towards the rip and her fingers find the edges of the gate. She reaches out and traces the portal's edges and gently she tugs the sides apart and the space opens. The air's salty scent teases the corners of her lips as the soft sounds of the ocean waves flow into our world. She continues pulling open the portal until there's a window big enough for someone to step through. She smiles out to the other side and walks away. The portal is open and now waits to welcome the traveller. Look deeper into the situation. What you want lies on the other side. Just step through. So, yeah, the, there's a new... Um, <clears throat> the, this is going to sound really quite woo, but bear with me, okay? There's a new timeline that's opening up for you here, Libra. You're about to step through that portal and leave your old timeline. And there's something about the ocean that is very dominant in your read. Some of you could live next to the ocean. Uh, some of you could be planning to move next to the ocean. But I'm also feeling as well that you're likely to meet, if you've not already met this person that we saw in your read, then the chances are quite high that you will meet them while you're at the beach. This, there's something to do with the ocean is very um, is very important to what transpires throughout the month of September. Okay. Right, and then you've got the serpent. 
At the base of the world tree lives a serpent. He hungers and gnaws incessantly at the roots, seeking sustenance. He doesn't care that this tree serves a higher purpose, nor that the worlds connected to the tree require it to remain stable. Without the tree, the worlds break apart and fade away. The serpent hungers and desires to consume everything and anything that stands in its way. He stays beneath the soil, devouring roots in his path, awaiting the time when he will be released from the tree to reunite with his brethren. Beware of dishonest people. Stay the course despite the stress. And I feel that that's your current energy. That's the energy that you're currently in. Libra, some of you have surrounded yourself, and I've seen this in your read a couple of times before as well. Some of you have surrounded yourselves with individuals who really do not have your best interests at heart. And it's like, you're holding on to them because naturally you prefer to see the um you, you prefer to see the good in people even where with those particular people there is no good to be found yet you prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt anyway even though they consistently prove to you time and time and time again that th there is no good in them, right? This new portal that, that's opening up for you, it's going to free you from those people and from those influences, okay? So when you step out of this timeline into your new timeline, these people are going to be left behind, okay? Okay. It's really interesting. Some of you are in communication with a lot of destructive people, like a lot of destructive friends, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> the, the types of people who will deliberately nitpick and take offense where no, where no offense was actually intended just as that they can cause trouble, just as that they can have um, the, the spotlight on them, you know. They they are at the centre of every single drama. And these are the kinds of people that you're going to be saying goodbye to over the next couple of weeks. And then once you step through that energetic portal... You begin a brand new timeline and your life is going to take a completely different direction, which is absolutely incredible. What else for Libra, please? Oh, respect. Now, that's come out in reverse, Libra. It says, respect your relationships. So with that flipping the way that it did, you're leaving, let's just call it a social circle that doesn't respect you. And you're entering into a new atmosphere where people will actually love and respect you for, for you just being you. Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Yeah. All of your dreams are coming true here, Libra. And embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Exactly. So don't be afraid, Libra. Okay? Don't be afraid. Uh, don't be scared to make a decision as well. Go go with what it is that your guts are telling you, okay? Wow, really, really exciting changes for you there, Libra. Okay, so I do need to leave that one there. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is more catered towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiataro.com or you could use the links that I've provided in my description box and in my pinned comment below as well. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.